Hey, what's up you guys? It's uh, Mike P here from Science of Sound. And I wanted to give you a quick rundown on uh, ohms because a lot of people are frustrated with ohms. They don't know what it means. You think it has something to do with what your amp is pushing out or... I've heard all kinds of crazy stuff. Basically, um, to keep it simple, ohms are just a measurement for resistance. Now you've heard that, but you're like, what does it mean? Um, when you think of electricity flowing through a speaker, <clears throat> You kind of got to think of it as the amp, in a way, does push the power through the speaker, but also, um, like certain loads, you know, like electric motors, they actually have a current draw, which is kind of like where the amperage comes in. You talk about how many amps it draws. Well, it blew a 20 amp fuse because maybe it needs to draw 30 amps. So, uh, so I know it makes it a little bit, you know, difficult to understand, but really what the resistance has to do with. It's more like as the power flows through, um, you know, how much is that speaker going to resist the flow from the amp? And um, another way to think of it is, you know, yeah, the amp sends power out to the speaker, but if you allow the amp to send out too much power, it's going to overheat and burn up or blow fuses or whatever. So uh, one of the best things you can do, even though your speaker will tell you, it says 8 ohms right there. This speaker actually doesn't say it, but um, one of the best things you can do is get a little multimeter and, uh, you know, I, I just use the little 200 ohm setting right there and actually shoot your speakers and see what they read because after use for a while they could, you know, kind of change. First of all, um, I thought that this black speaker here was an 8 ohm. Come to find out... Let's see, we're going to touch the uh, the red lead to the positive terminal and then the black lead to the negative. Now look down here on the meter, it pops up 4.1. So I thought it was an 8 ohm speaker, it's actually reading us 4.1 ohms. Um, one thing you kind of can do too is touch your two leads together and uh, see what they're doing. Just going through the wires, you're going to have a little bit of resistance. You know, on electricity, Really, to have no resistance, you'd have to touch the two prongs inside the multimeter together. But since we have these kind of long wires, it's going to resist the current a little bit by that little, you know, uh, 0.3, you know, it's going to have a little 0.3 ohms of resistance. Yeah, so that speaker is actually more like a 4 ohm speaker. Now, what happens? You thought it was an 8 ohm speaker and you set your amp to 8 ohms. Well, um, 4 ohms isn't enough resistance. It might cause your amp to run a little bit too hot and possibly burn it up. So that's all that ohms really is. It's not something that, you know, your amp's going to push or nothing. Your amp has that rating on the back because it's telling you the minimum that that amp can hold, you know, steadily, you know, stable or whatever you want to call it. Now, uh, this other speaker, it says 8 ohms, but when we actually meter it out, you go positive, one-handed here. When we actually meter out an 8 ohm speaker, it's giving us 5.5. So the fact that these speakers actually have less resistance than what they either say or what we thought, um, you need to wire them in a way where they're gonna be, you know, stable on your amp. So uh, part two of this video, I'll explain the different wirings. Thanks a lot. Bye.